All right, welcome back, everyone. You're watching CT Style. We are live here in the kitchen with our friend, the traveling Epicurean, Michelle Vehar, and we have Korean on the menu today. We do. We have beef bulgogi. I wanted to change it up from those holiday meals that we've been having. Yes. And this is such a delicious and refreshing meal. Um, it's thinly sliced beef. Okay. And it's marinated in a soy and sesame oil also, which that mixture we're going to start doing right here. I'll show you how to do that. All right. And it's just amazing. So I taped the show, too, about three months ago with my Korean friend, Lynn. Oh. She used to make this in college on Fridays. And wow, it would create what a treat. the whole dorm. <laughs> and then everybody would migrate to her floor waiting for her to finish. So this is very Sorry. authentic then, it's right? It's very authentic, yes. It's a wonderful standard recipe. Um, and you could use it so many different ways. You can actually marinate a whole... Uh, um, London broil with it. Like, you don't have to slice it up, also. So, there's right. so many things you can do. Well, how do we get started? All right, so we're going to need um, our thinly sliced top round. I tried to get a, a marble piece because you have lots of flavor in that. Mm -hmm. You could also use ribeye. But ribeyes, I find that I really want my ribeye rare in the middle and sure. seared on the outside. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to add sugar. So, you're okay. add a right to cup the beef? Right to the beef. And that's a natural tenderizer. In Korean cooking, they also use Asian pears. So you could also add Asian pear to it. You can grate it in there. It has an enzyme in there, calpin, which actually helps to naturally tenderize the beef, wow. too. Yeah. Okay. So, But we don't have any of that in here. In this recipe, we just have the sugar. So you would put that on first and let it sit with the meat, and that would start to work all by itself without doing anything else. And then we're going to add some toasted sesame oil. Which smells great. It's not smell great. <laughs> so I love that flavor. And then we're going to add some soy. You want to add some green onion. How much of the green onion? You can add all of the green onion. I'm a big fan onion. of green onion. I am too. Oh, you're not? You're no, not. I am. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll do it up. And then we're going to add some garlic. The garlic I put through a garlic press, um, so it's already very fine. And then the sesame seeds. And the sesame seeds I toasted up. And you really have to pay attention to... Um, you don't want to burn sesame seeds. You they, don't want to yeah, really don't want to burn sesame seeds. And they stink then. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, and then we're just going to mix this up here. And you know, this marinade can go from anywhere from just a couple of minutes to overnight. So, it's really easy and it, you know, it's just full flavor. So, you really could do this a day ahead if you wanted to. You could to. do it a day ahead okay. and be a little bit organized. Should I about mix it. this? Um, when we taped the show, we actually did it within minutes before we cooked it, and it was amazing. It still tastes the same. It still Great. tasted the same. You will get a little bit more intense flavor if you do it overnight, but you can also do this with pork or chicken. Okay. You don't have to do the beef if you're not big on beef. And a trick to doing the thinly sliced um, the slicing of the meat is to freeze it. Freeze it for like an hour. So I would never have thought that. Yeah, and it's, so it's not rock solid. Mm -hmm. It's just slightly, it's slightly firm, and then you can just start I mean, to you slice. You need a good knife too, obviously. You need right? a really good knife, absolutely. But making it slightly frozen really helps with that. Wow, tricks of the trade, Michelle. Tricks of I like the trade. this. We're I'm learning something you out here. And then we're going to just do a little vegetable oil, and now that's going to get really hot. Okay. You want that pan almost smoking because this is going to sear, mm -hmm. and we're going to do this. In batches. You don't want to throw it all in the pan at once because then it's just going to be a big steam bath. Sure. Um, so I have my tongs here and we're just going to start to. You no, know, it's a. Oh, it is hot. Now we step back. <laughs> oh, we're just on the steam here. <laughs> yeah, and then you're just going to sear this for about four or five minutes. Oh, so it's quick, right? It's a quick. It's a quick sear. All right, so let that cook because we have about a minute left. And I know yeah. you're pairing it with some pancakes here. Yeah, these are Korean, Korean pancakes, and mm -hmm. I serve them with my ginger soy mixture there, which is on my website. So it's shredded carrots, zucchini, peppers, mm -hmm. potato, and green onion. And then you just use pancake mix. So easy, right? So I easy. love that Absolutely for a side delicious. dish. And then we have to talk about dessert. I don't want to forget about yes, it. Yes, those are Korean honey cookies. Because they're delicious. With some sesame <laughs> seeds on top of those. And those are really delicious, too. And now this bulgogi, you can actually serve in lettuce wraps. You don't oh. have to serve it with the rice and the broccoli. So there's like different ways you can do that. It looks beautiful and it's pretty simple to do. You're just cooking it in the pan and then... Yeah. I mean, and look at that. It's already, it's already searing done. and getting some and good color great. on that. And it gets some good color. Well, we're always so lucky to have you here, Michelle. You feed us. You put on a great set. So we appreciate it. We'll Thank follow you, you online. Teresa. The Traveling Epicurean. The Traveling Epicurean. And my YouTube channel as well. Please subscribe. And you can see all of these things made right there, there on my go. YouTube channel. All right. We want to thank you all for watching today. Have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.